Hey guys, Beast Gaming here, and today I'm doing a FIFA 13 squad builder. This squad builder is in 4-2-3-1 formation and will cost around 11k. It is a Bundesliga squad. So to start off with, in net, we've got. Let me just put the right league in. Ulrich, I think it is. Doesn't look very good, but he's a really, really good keeper. He's got some. Alright, stats 83 diving, 84 reflexes, 77 handling, 77 kicking, and 77 position, positioning. He's just like strong in the keeper position, and he has kept some good clean sheets. Now we move on to the first centre back, my favourite centre back in the Bundesliga. Very cheap, well, not very cheap, but quite cheap, is Subotic for Borussia Dortmund. This guy is an absolute tank. He's got 72 pace, which is quite quick for a defender. 79 heading, I mean defending, but it feels like 88, I don't know, 82 heading, and he has got some really good attacking he headers, not just not just clearing it out of the box with the head, he scored them. And then the second one isn't a brilliant defender, but he's quick. I've got the De Giro. Um, not quite sure on that. So he's got 75 pace, which is quite quick. 76 defended and 77 heading. Well, he's not a brilliant defender, but he's quick. And you've got Subatic there who can just like back him up. So he he can catch him, but he can do the proper defending. Now we're going to our right back. This is the complicated name. Gebre Selas. Selas, Gebra Salassi. He he's not brilliant, but he's quick down that wing, and he always plays it up to our set of a certain attacking mid. And he he's got 77 passing, 75 dribbling, 71 defending, and 83 pace, which is quite good stats for his price. Um, I'll just I'll go through how much they've gone for at the end. So and then. I've got Butchers, I think. He's just an all around mint style player. 74 pace, 71 shooting. He's got probably better shooting than my striker, I think he does. 76 passing, 71 dribbling, 75 defending, and 72 heading. Just an all around good player, and I like his name as well. Bit of a blue name. So, uh, so now we go on to our own centre defensive mid. Luis Gustav. This guy is just, he's not brilliant, but he's just like an average player. 75 pace, 76 passing, 76 dribbling, 83 defending, and 76 heading. He's a good defender, but I he can defend, which is okay. And then my other side is trying to defend it with me, which I'm going to show you, is like the attacking part of the defensive mid. This is Bender. <laughs> Sorry, it's like a zoom. Um, 70 pace, 78 passing, 72 dribbling, 79 defending, and 74 headed. This guy is just amazing. Like, when someone goes for a shot and it rebounds out to that, like, uh, just out of the box, he just hits it, puts it away. Mint player. Um, I'm going to save him so we'll be two to last because he's like the best player. I'll go to this guy. This guy links up with our right back. It's this guy here, Renato Augusto. Uh, I I, I love him. I don't, I think he's amazing. Seventy six pass pace. Seventy six shoot. Seventy three shooting. Eighty one passing. Eighty three dribbling. He he says seventy six pace, but when he's on ball, because he's good at dribbling, he feels so much quicker. Like our left attacking midfield. He's good as well. And he, and he, these two up and down the wing, they just swap over all the time. So if he goes forward, he'll come back a bit, which I like. Now we'll go on to here. This guy's not a centre forward, he's a centre attacking mate. We've got Van der Vaart. Van der Vaart's, I bought him because he's not fast or anything, but if that ball comes to him on the edge of the box, he can just hit it so hard. And his passing is brilliant. He's playing it about, he doesn't lose the ball on the pass, and he can dribble around the players. Says 64 pace, it's about 75, I would say. 
and you don't really need pace. He's, you don't really need pace on it because if you just hit it for miles out, he's brilliant. I think he should have stayed at Spurs. Now we're going to do our other attacking midfielder, Diego. This guy is just an absolute beast. Um, 76 pace, 76 shooting, 83 passing, and 87 dribbling. In one match, I was just running down the pitch. I did about six Maradona turns and then finessed it around the keeper. I just kept doing the same skill every single time and put it around the keeper. He he's quick. He doesn't say he's quick, but he's quick and he's such a good dribbler. His shooting's amazing. He can hit it really well from out the box and his passing brilliant. But he's he's just like skillful as well. And now probably the I would say these two are the best players on the pit on the team. This guy is just an absolute beast. Duke. 88 pace, 74 dribbling, and 83 heading. He's just so fast. He can outpace anyone. 70, just 83 heading. You don't realise that when those corners come in, he's going to be there to head them. Look, three games. He scored four goals. And he got all those goals in one match, I think. And in the other match matches, one of them my internet disconnected and the other one he rage quit like straight away because I think I've scored Diego. But he only cost me a thousand coins and he's brilliant. I'm just gonna go through the price prices of the players now. Like I said, this squad will only cost you about eleven K. Start off with you who's one K and about nine hundred and fifty. Diego 1000, uh, Renato Augusto 950, Luis Gustavo 800, Bender 500. You could probably get some of these non rares a bit cheaper, so it might be like 10,500. Um, well, this is on the PlayStation 3 as well, so it's a bit more. Boochers, something like that, okay, worth it. Summer Titch 2.4k. De Jura, 1k, Gebre Selassie, 850, and Unreach, 500 coins. Right, that's it. that's it for this squad builder, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a co comment in the section below asking, like, telling me if I should do some more squad builders. Thanks for watching.